So welcome back to Verna's blog. The University of Alberta acknowledges that we are located on Treaty 6 territory and the Métis homeland, and respects the histories, languages, and cultures of First Nations, Métis Inuit, and all First Peoples of Canada, whose presence continues to enrich our vibrant community. So it's a real pleasure to welcome Tommy Mayberry, who's the Executive Director for the Centre for Teaching and Learning. So welcome to Verna's blog, Tommy. Thank you, Verna. Thank you for having me. I've been really looking forward to this. Oh, well, that's good to hear. And uh, we start each vlog, Tommy, if you watch our vlogs, uh, we usually start off by having you introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about you. Yep, absolutely. Hi everyone, um, as Verna said, I'm Tommy Mayberry. My pronouns are he, she, and they. So any of those three series with respect are how you can refer to me. And I've been in Edmonton now for about 18 months in my position here. And um, before that, I lived my entire life just outside of Toronto. Um, and so moving here was a, a big journey. I finished my PhD at the University of Waterloo three months ago. So I did that from Edmonton and kind of a, across this nation now called Canada. Uh, my disciplinary background is um, English language and literature. And I've been working in teaching centers and education developments for the greater part of my career. So I, I'm very honored and, and excited to be at the U of A with you folks and in the provost office. So Tommy, first of all, congratulations on Thank getting you. your PhD, because I know that's a, that's a bit of a journey. Yeah. And <laughs> so congratulations, Thank that's you. fantastic. So, you know, the Center for Teaching and Learning is something we've had for many years. And, you know, a lot of people know about it. I'm not sure they know a lot of details, but what the benefits are for that you can get from the center. Yep. So tell us a little bit about the Center for Teaching and Learning. Yeah, um, so the Center for Teaching and Learning um, at the U of A is actually the very first teaching center in Canada. Um, so we have that as part of it. Every, every other teaching center at every university kind of built themselves off of what a, a group of profs did back in the 70s um, here at U of A. So I'm really honored to be a part of that tradition as well here. And it was built from the 70s onward to be sort of a academic unit that works with instructors to partner and collaborate toward you know, better and better pedagogies, better and better classroom experiences, all to really make our student experience the best that it can be. Um, and so that's really what the teaching center is for, is that, that faculty and instructor facing partnering unit. Wonderful. And as part of the center, there's also something called the festival for teaching and learning. So tell us a little bit about this festival, like how long it's been around and Yep. Then I'll ask you a few more questions after No, that. absolutely. Um, the Festival of Teaching and Learning started at the 100-year anniversary of the U of A. So in 2008 was when the first Festival of Teaching Festival of Teaching. The learning was added later, but it was first the Festival of Teaching in 2008. And it was imagined as an event to bring the teaching and learning community together on an annual basis, kind of like a conference, kind of like a celebration, kind of like show up and share your teaching in some way back out. The, the goal is to kind of see what everyone's up to in their different classrooms and area of campus and disciplines um, to you know, really kind of inspire better and better teaching as we keep going. And so this year, 2023, will be the 15th um, annual Festival of Teaching and Learning Now. Um, and it kind of continues that tradition of being part academic conference, part, part scholarly conference, part celebrations of teaching, you know, really great stuff to kind of show up and show off what we're doing in our classrooms with and for our students. So a fantastic networking event, Absolutely. I would say. Yeah. But there's a kind of a nifty theme this year. Do you want, want to tell us a little bit about the theme? Yeah, um, we're really proud of the theme. The theme this year is Traditions Reimagined, Learning, Unlearning, and Relearning Teaching. Um, and that wonky, very verbal, very verb-focused um, theme for this came about from the Festival of Teaching and Learning Steering Committee, kind of looking at you know the past 115 years of the U of A and kind of the power, but also the constraints of tradition and what does tradition look like in teaching? Where can tradition be really powerful, really honoring? Where can it be really constrictive? Where can it be things that are kind of holding us back from innovating and sort of holding us back? You know, thinking about the past three years with the pandemic, you know, the murder of George Floyd, the uncovering of the residential schools, you know, all of these things have really forced us to re-examine what our traditions are, what those values are, what we're gonna keep, what we're gonna yeet, you know, what we're gonna move forward with and what we're gonna say, that was part of our history but not part of our future. Um, and so really reimagining that concept of tradition from a teaching and learning lens and really kind of thinking about 
everything as a tradition and how we can reimagine it from what the steering committee was doing with the call for proposals to what we're doing with the keynote to how we're trying to imagine a festival kind of experience that maintains its history but also keeps moving us forward. Are there any main events you wanted to share with everyone around the festival this year? Yep, two, um, two reimagined things that the Festival of Teaching and Learning Steering Committee is really excited about are our reimagined keynotes. Um, so last year, actually, we did a student keynote conversation that was by students for students, or sorry, by students with students as the panelists on it. And it was a kind of active listening moment for the instructors to kind of hear this conversation of the students and elevate that student voice to the level of the, the keynote for the conference. And so that is backed by popular demand. We will be opening the festival this year with another student keynote. And then really kind of the, the creative, critical, affective minds of the steering committee were thinking, how can we keep reimagining this genre of the keynote? And so we asked ourselves, what other voices are maybe missing from our teaching and learning community? And we came up with alumni voices, you know, folks who got their start here, who grew up here, um, who maybe become part of the public, and then other public voices as well. And then, of course, you know, the AI stuff kind of hit months ago in a way where, you know, we've been warned since Mary Shelley and Frankenstein that this thing was coming and it's here. And, you know, we're saying those things like the dawn of AI. So the steering committee had this idea, what if we could find someone who's a public scholar who went here at the U of A, who's doing AI and pedagogy stuff, um, and we found that unicorn. And so we're going to be inviting one of our community members back, who's no longer at the U of A, but who did their PhD here, who's doing um, digital pedagogy, social media pedagogy, artificial intelligence stuff as well, to come back to the community and kind of share their journey and their scholarship as well. And we're going to do something where um, they're going to open with a keynote address and then we're going to bring together some AI scholars from within the U of A now and have a large conversation about AI to close the, the festival as well. And I was just about to ask you about AI so I'm, okay. glad, you, I'm glad you nipped that one. Yep. Um, who is that digital scholar that you're talking about? So their name is uh, Dr. Amy Morrison. Um, they did their PhD here on the history of the personal computer. Um, that was their dissertation focus. Um, I don't want to say what year I think it was because off the top of my head I don't know. So I won't say what year I think it was for Dr. Morrison, but um, Amy Morrison um, did their PhD here once upon a time and um, is excited to come back and share their, their journey and their work with, with AI and digital pedagogies. And I think timing couldn't be better, right? Absolutely, because there's yeah. so much dialogue out there around AI and how do we use it. Yep. Um, sort of similar to when we had calculators, I don't know how many decades ago and you weren't allowed to bring your calculator to exams. Of course, our students have no idea that there was a time before calculators, but um, in my era, uh, I definitely remember that. So, you know, we'll really look forward to that, Tommy. Thank yeah. you very much for being yeah. a guest today. And we can hear the excitement in your voice so around excited. the festival. So I hope you're all excited and I hope you can all attend. I think it's a fabulous event that not only helps us learn about how we can better our teaching, but also to provide that that critical community that we need uh, within our campus uh, to connect together. So thank you very much, and we'll see you at the next vlog.